There's no hope, there's no way out. And I, I am in the um, bottom of the pit of hopelessness and despair and self-pity, whatever. In that, this memory comes of myself as a little boy sitting in a Sunday school classroom singing, Jesus Loves Me. And I could see myself vividly, so innocent, so sweet, so naive, simple, and feeling what I felt when I was like a little boy, like maybe eight or nine years old or whatever. Jesus loves me, this I know. That's what I kept hearing over and over again. But I had put all and put that all away behind me, beside me, and denied it all and mocked it all. And, um, and now all of a sudden, it was all I had. I had nothing else. I'm, scra I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel mm -hmm. of what might be possible. So uh, I thought about that too, and I thought, he, why would he care about me? Even if he is, why would he care? He must hate me. I'm so sorry. And I thought, enough of this. I'm done. I don't have anything else. Jesus, please save me. And when I said that, I saw light, tiny little speck of light, and it very rapidly got very bright and came over me. And I saw out of the light, hands and arms emerge out of this impossibly beautiful white light. I was experiencing a love that is beyond, far beyond words. If, if, I, I've never been able to articulate it, but I can say that if I took all my experience of love in my entire life and could condense it into a moment, it still wouldn't begin to measure up to the intensity of this love that I was feeling. And those arms went on me and healed me. They went behind my back and he picked me up as if it was no effort on his part. He just gently picked me up and held me up against him real tight up against his chest. So there I am with my arms around him, his arms around me, and I am bawling like a baby and I am slobbering and snotting and drooling with my head buried in his chest and he starts to rub my back. like. He wasn't saying they're there, but it was just like, like a mom or a dad with a child. And I knew, I don't, I don't know how I knew, but I knew that he loved me very much just the way I was. Later in this experience, we did a life review and he made perfectly clear, clear what he did not like. And I can safely say despised, hated, detested about my what I had done with my life, but he always loved me. And the reason why he didn't love what I did was because it detracted from who I was meant to be.